Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Brandon. I'm with ULTV Productions and Relevant Generation. I'm going to be going over some things with the MPD uh, 26 right here, give you an overview on how to set it up with FL Studio. We'll be looking at how to assign the pads to the different controllers, how to get it set up for your first time use with FL Studio, as well as using the FPC, some of the functions that it goes over, and as well as assigning like MIDI knobs and things to different instruments and functions within FL Studio, and linking all that to controllers, which is all really straightforward and simple, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and go over that with you. I uh, Just get the basic stuff out of the way, you know, F MPD, everybody does this video, I guess, has the pads on it, has the knobs on it, this MPD 26, so, and got six sliders instead of eight like you think you see in the 24 I think and I guess the the knobs or whatnot it's really neat and it's fun yay okay that's a brief overview of the uh, MPD now we're gonna go ahead and get this set up so it works with FL studio so when you plug in your 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 um uh, oopsie when you uh bear with me I'm messing stuff up okay so when you first hook up your MPD when you get it up in there, you're going to plug it in, and right here on the screen, it's going to be on live for Ableton. Well, we want to use it with FL Studio, which is fine and dandy. Um, you can use it that way because some of the functions are very similar. But what you want to do anyway, let's make a long story short, you want to go ahead and take this knob here and turn it to FL Studio and press the little knob down right there. So once you press that down there, it's on FL Studio, and you're done. Nope. Sorry. Chuck Testa. Um, you're not done. You got a couple more things you want to go ahead and do. So we got this set to FL Studio. Turn it there and press the knob down. That's enter. The next thing that you want to go ahead and do is you want to add an FPC channel into FL Studio. Well, first, let me show you something else real quick. Okay. If you go into options, I always forget what screen I'm on. On your... Move this over here where we can see everything that's going on. Okay, so... On your, um, actually, also, I'm on this screen. You guys, excuse me, I'm sorry about that. Completely forgot what screen I'm on. Okay, anyways, so on your FL Studio, you want to go into your MIDI settings. So, to get to your MIDI settings, since mine were already open, you want to go to Options and go into MIDI settings. So, once you go into MIDI settings, this handy box is going to pop up. In this box, you want to make sure your Akai MPD 26 is set to enable. The MIDI N2 and the MIDI N3, you don't really got to worry about it unless you're using the MIDI N ports on the back of your MPD with another MIDI instrument, which I'll go ahead and go into detail on that, maybe in a later video if somebody is really curious on that or request it. Probably not, because most people won't do that. Or if they will do that, they already know what they're doing. Anyways, so you want to make sure this one that says Akai MPD 26 is enabled. And you can set that to generic controller because it will work just fine right there. It's not going to make any difference either way. Um, there are other ones you can set it to too, but we're going to leave it on generic controller just for simplicity's sake. Once you have that on, you can see it's enabled because when you hit something on here, you can see uh, I have a, something loaded in my channel, but you can see the flashing thing indicating that it's working. Even when you turn a knob, you can see the MIDI response up there. So you know that is actually working. It's MIDI input activity. So wonderful. So that's that's good and dandy. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is pretend this channel wasn't here already. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and go to channels, add one, and go down to where it says FPC right here. Hot diggity dog. So once you got that FPC in there. It already. I'm gonna go over all this stuff in the FPC because it's really fun. If I have time, um, once you have your FPC in there, it comes preloaded with a bunch of sounds, which are wonderful, wonderful, wonderful sounds. If you're making R&B music or rock, um, but otherwise they suck. And we'll go over all that in a second. Um, but first, we'll go over how to make this thing work with the FPC. So you can kind of use your MPD like an MPC. I mean, you really, really can. Eight thousand hundred million people will argue with me but you can set effects and mod and everything and run it to your computer and work it right or make it work just like an MPC does with more storage space if you get like a huge hard drive anyways I, I would love to have an FPC but I can't afford one or I, I mean an MPC I'm losing my mind but with the FPC and the MPD you can pretty much emulate one um, and with some other MIDI functions 
if somebody argues me down, I'll prove them wrong. Um, but anyways, haters. Uh, what uh, you want to go ahead and do next is you want to get these. Okay, when you hit these pads on your thing, notice they're not reflecting the, you know, the buttons with the thing that's flashing on the screen. Okay, so we want to fix that. So what you do to fit, how you fix that is you go down here, see this arrow right here? You got the pad designation right here where it tells you your current pad. And right next to you, you got a little down arrow, not the right pointing arrow, the down arrow. Click it, scroll all the way down to the bottom of the first column where it says map notes for entire bank. Click map notes for entire bank. Once you click map notes for entire bank, you want to start mapping your notes on your MPD. Starting with the bottom left pad. So the bottom left pad, you press it, then press the next one, then press the next one, then press the next one, then keep go back to the next the uh, next row up, start at the left, that, 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 next row up, start at the left, that, 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 next row over, start at the left, that, 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 that. Hot diggity dog, it's done. I'll make that a catchphrase. Anyways, now that you've done that, they're all correctly mapped to the correct path, so you can go ahead and get started with it. Right? I can't, I can't move my feet. So, you know, whatever you want to do. Anyways, so that's fun and dandy. That's done. Okay, so now you guys see how to go ahead and add those pads. You can start recording it using, you know, hit the record button and whatnot. You on the MPD. You once it's on FL Studio, you can actually control the um, FL Studio with these right here. So if you want to just use this as your MIDI controller and hit record and then to to play, you can start and it's gonna start playing that up in there, which is horrible and completely out of sync. There are other things you can do. You can actually um, set the tap the tempo out on here. With the tempo tap, this thing taps the tempo out, and you can set your time division and your note replay and do all sorts of creative stuff for lazy people. It's not really lazy people because it takes a little bit of work to do it, but I'm going to show that in a different video. So we will not cover note repeat, time division, or any of the swing or anything, any of that stuff, which this beautiful thing can definitely do and handle all of that. We'll go over that in a much more advanced, longer, detailed video. Okay, anyways. So let's go ahead and take that garbage out of the playlist that I just put in there. I'm just going to go ahead and use Control Alt Z. Do, 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 do. I just highlight it and delete it. Okay, so once you get all that out of there, anyways, we can go ahead and proceed with something else. Um, next thing I want to show you guys real quick is how to link your controller with the different controls in the in the um in free loops and this works the same with any control i'll probably go over this in every video i make because it's kind of kind of really handy lots of people don't know how to do it make sure when you're working with the mpd no matter what model it is when you hit record always turn the record off because if you don't and you start playing it and messing with your sliders you're going to start recording automation which um is going to be a pain in the neck to figure out where it is depending on what you were selected and what track you were on and stuff we'll go over all that too um, which you can use FL Studio also to record automation. Anyways, once you're done with that, we're going to go ahead and link these knobs to the controller. So this right here is this drum sample we have selected, and I'm going to link its volume parameter. Well, actually, no, we'll link the master volume parameter because it'll just make it easier. This is the master volume for the FPC for all the instruments. I'm going to right-click it and scroll down to link to controller once we select link to controller once you move any MIDI slider it will automatically link that parameter to the controller so now you can see I've moved it and that is actually linked to the controller hold on for just a second let me answer this phone alright yeah so that was totally my wife distracting me so I gotta run you guys so I'm sorry I'm gonna have to cut this video short but that's the basics over it with linking to the controller with the MPD you can, it doesn't matter what control it is you can do this with the mixer too say you were in the mixer like this and you want to link it to the controller you can go ahead and right click on it and select link to controller 
and go ahead now that's linked to that and this look this this is linked to that knob right there and the second slider is linked to this volume control right here and you can do that with any MIDI knob any of these they're not assigned to anything you can assign them to anything that you want so what we went over real quick just a quick overview quick repeat um, we went over how to assign the 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 um, the pads to the controls in the FPC um, I'm going to do another video after this one that will show you how to set the, the these instruments on here. This same pad makes different sounds for how hard I hit it. I'll show you how to assign different sounds to different pressure levels. And we'll go over, you know, setting different effects on it, reversing the sound samples and other things. I'm sorry about how disorganized this was. I just had a can of monster and I got inspired to record a video, so I did it. So here it is. Hope you guys enjoy. I hope you learned something. Send me a message or whatever on the Facebook. Peace.